Today I'm showing you how to play a fun game called What's in the Box. Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake ESL Teaching Made Easy. If you're new here, you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also, real quick, if you are new here, don't be shy, say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you're teaching. Introducing new vocabulary to students can be one of the most frustrating parts of our ESL lesson. Ever find yourself doing this? It's a dog. Hit it. Hit the dog. Hit it. Hit the dog, hit it, hit it, hit the dog, hit the dog. So we need to find fun ways to capture students' attention. And today I'm giving you just that, a fun and engaging way to introduce new vocabulary. So without further ado, let's get straight into it with today's game, What's in the Box? Now to play this game, all we're gonna need are some flashcards of the vocabulary we'd like to practice and an empty box. Now an ordinary box will do, but we can make it more interesting by turning the box into a friendly monster. We need to make sure that our box has a lid and a slot wide enough to fit a flashcard at the front. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. First, we're going to introduce that mystery box using chance and TPR to help. It's a monster box. Rawr, rawr. Monster box. Rawr, rawr. Monster box. Rawr, rawr. If you're not sure how to use TPR in the classroom, you can check out my video on TPR linked below. Make sure that when you're introducing the box, it's not too scary for those younger students, otherwise they really won't want to know what's in the box. Next, you're going to have the whole class chant together. What's in the box? Knock, knock. What's in the box? Knock, knock. What's in the box? Knock, knock. Next, you're going to ask one student who's been sat particularly nicely to come to the middle and take a flashcard from the box. Help the student by lifting off that lid nice and slowly, and as the student reaches their hand in, pretend that the monster box is trying to eat them. <laughs> the whole class will then erupt in fits of laughter. Let that student try once again, this time letting them take the card out of the box and handing it to you. Next, look at the card with enthusiasm and ask the class if they would like to see. Of course, we can have the whole class chant together. Let me see, please. Let me see, please. Let me see, please. Reveal the flashcard and introduce the new word using TPR as you do. It's a dog, woof, woof. 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 Place that flashcard face up on the floor in front of you. Have the whole class chant once again, what's in the box, and go again. Keep going until all the flashcards have been revealed. Now that we've introduced all the flashcards, we can add in more repetition by having students help us put those flashcards away. And we're going to do this by feeding our friendly monster. Start by explaining that our friendly monster is very, very hungry and that we need to feed it. Next, choose a flashcard and have the whole class chant together. Where is the dog? Where is the dog? Where is the dog? Next, you're going to choose one student who hasn't yet had a turn to come to the front and find the flashcard. Ask that student one more time, where is the dog? And guide them to the correct flashcard. That student's then going to tap the flashcard and say, here is the dog. Here is the dog. They're then going to pick up that flashcard and feed it to the monster. Nom, 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 nom. Next, you're going to have the whole class chant once again, where is the, and go again. Keep going until all the flashcards have been fed to the box monster. Now, as you can see, I've kept the whole class engaged throughout this whole process by having them chant not only the answers to questions, but also the questions themselves. This is part of my classroom management strategy. And if you'd like more information on classroom management, you can check out my video linked below. So there you have it, what's in the box? A fun and engaging activity that you can use to help introduce new vocabulary. If you like this game, let me know by commenting with the word helpful in the comments below and by sharing with your fellow teachers. For more fun ESL games, you can check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, or if you're interested in a Mooncake sweatshirt or mug, you can find them linked below. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake. <laughs>
Yeah, 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 yeah.